Are OLED TVs worth the hefty price tag or should you go with something cheaper? Find out my two cents right now. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today we want to do a little review on OLED TVs and if you should buy one, does it really matter? Does it really make or break the television? Now, I actually did lots and lots and lots of research about a year ago and I actually took a long time to study all the technologies. There was days when I would spend a whole day like just uncovering a new technology and just like really like flushing it out and thinking I had known pretty much everything just to find out that there was another version, another kind, another feature, another this, that, and the other about the new TVs. And right off the bat, do I think that they're worth it? Yes. Do I think that they're the only TV you should get? Kinda, yes. It depends on your budgets and like your needs for the TV. But if you wanna get something super cheap, this one isn't for you. But if you want anything with like so, some real quality to it, or at least, you know, mid-level quality, I wouldn't really skimp out and go with anything other than OLED. Now there's other things like QNEDs, there's ULEDs, there's freaking a bunch of other ones that sound similar to OLED and that are better slightly than the, the cheaper TVs that are out there. But the OLED is just unbeatable. The only time the OLED really, you know, suffers in my opinion is if it's really dim. If for some reason it's a really cheap model and it's dim, maybe at that point it just wouldn't be worth it. But the OLED is fantastic. If you guys don't know what it is, basically normal traditional TVs have like a backlight behind it. And so it's like basically like a, like a big flashlight behind whatever you're watching, you know? And then you go into QLED, which is basically mini LEDs. I think QLED was founded by Samsung and then they didn't patent it so that people would start to use the technology and maybe it would compete with OLED. Uh, QLED, because they're mini LEDs, if for some reason like over in this corner, it's, well, it's a lot more dark than it is over in this corner, um, they will actually turn off the LEDs so that the black levels actually look like black. Like a normal TV, you're gonna see like the flashlight behind it no matter what. It's gonna be like, it's black, but there's like a light behind it, you know what I mean? OLEDs is, OLED basically is every single pixel has its own backlight. So if at any point the screen is dark, it's dark. And it's not just dark, it's off. And that may not sound the best, but it is just absolutely mesmerizing once you really look at it, once you really study it. And once you see the flaws with the other TVs and that, and that they can never ever reach this level of true blacks, People complain about um, OLED, screen burn, things like that. I have just never had an issue with it. I've personally owned a Samsung S95B and now I own a, an LG C2. At the time of the recording this video, they just came out with the C4. I actually have not done any research to see how much like more bright the C4 is versus the C3, but essentially the C3 and the, C and the C2, which is what I have, are essentially the same. So OLED is gonna always have essentially perfect blacks because it can always turn off each individual pixel. So every dark part on the screen will be completely dark without any sort of reflection or light behind it. And it is just absolutely phenomenal. You can't go wrong with them. And most of the time the OLED TVs are on the highest end of TVs. So they're gonna have pretty much every other feature as well. I can't I stress this enough. Like I, I would feel like I'm missing something if I do not have an OLED TV. And I actually got a really good cheap like QNED TV or QLED TV. It was like a TLC S555, which is supposed to be one of the better models from TCL, but it just really cannot compete uh, just with the OLED screen. And the only problem you might have is if the OLED isn't that bright. In my opinion, you should get either the cheapest TV that's like a 4K or you should get an OLED TV. There's really not too much in between. If you're gonna go cheap and you want something you know big or you want something just that works, 100%, I, I see your point. If you're somebody who wants to spend a little bit over the cheapest models, but you're not convinced to go all the way to OLED, in my opinion, there isn't anything else besides OLED. You don't want to be spending any extra money and then not be getting that technology. You know, so I, that's just my two cents. I do think that they're worth it. They're extremely overpriced. You're pretty much not going to find like a 55 OLED for under $1,000 new versus like your know, 55 non OLED. You could find, you know, 300, 400, 500. OLED is where it's at. Like, uh, all TVs kind of going this way in the future, just the way all TVs are flat screens now. All smart Anyways, guys, that's TVs, been my two so. cents.
I thought I knew TVs just because I studied them years ago, maybe 10, 15 years ago. I was completely flabbergasted to find out that, I mean, there's just, there's a million and one different tests that you can do to a TV, whether it's like upscaling, they have this AI technology that makes it look way better than it is. There's reflections, there's like all sorts of stuff like judder, there's like screen burn in, there's like HDR brightness, there's non HDR brightness, color gamuts. Like, there's almost infinite like ways or tests that you could do to these TVs to actually find out which one is better. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Let me know which TVs you're using down below. Let me know if you have any OLED products. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully I'm a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.